Hi friends, Miss Hannah here from Campbell County Public Library System. Today we're celebrating World Read Aloud Day. So reading aloud is wonderful in so many ways for your family and at school. It's so great to share stories, whether they're from a real book or ones you make up. It's fun to read stories aloud. So today we're going to read the official World Read Aloud Day book and it's called My Very Favorite Book in the Whole Wide World. And this book is written by Malcolm Mitchell and he's actually a professional football player so that's really cool. If you check out the reading guide that we've attached you can read a little bit more about him and there's also some fun activities and follow-up things that you can do after listening to this story. So here we go, my very favorite book in the whole wide world. Hi, I'm Henley, and this is a story about finding my very favorite book in the whole wide world. Reading can be hard, you know? Once upon a time, everyone thought that I hated to read, but that's just not true. In some books, the words are too big. The sentence is too long, and there are way too many pages. In other books, the pictures have zero to do with cool things that I like or with what's inside of me. I do try, but some books are so giant that if I stood on top of them, I would turn into a giant. Other books are so boring I'd rather use them as pillows. When I'm supposed to be reading homework, I'd rather play football in the backyard. When I'm asked to read the cookbook to help make dinner, I would rather see how many grapes I can fit into my mouth. Oh, don't do that, Henley. Once, I took a wagon full of books to the town swimming pool to find out if they could swim. What do you think? When I tried to read books about dinosaurs, they made my brain hurt. So I gave them back to the dinosaurs. I've tried reading books about mountains and pickles and aliens and monsters, cats chasing mice and mice chasing cats. I even found a book about cats chasing mice up a mountain while aliens eat pickles with monsters, but none of those made reading easier or more fun. But that all changed when Mrs. Joy gave the worst homework assignment ever. She said, find your very favorite book in the whole wide world and bring it to school tomorrow. It can be a book about anything. Just make sure that you love it because you'll be sharing it with the whole class. The school bell sounded like a hundred horns blowing in my ear. Thinking about the yucky homework assignment gave me a super headache and it made my hands all sweaty. On the way home from school, I stopped by the mighty library, hoping to find a book that could be my very favorite. My friends went into the library ahead of me. When it comes to finding books, I'm not so fast. Inside, there was a nice man sitting behind a jumbo-sized desk. I asked him if he could help me find my very favorite book in the whole wide world. He showed me books about science and adventure and squishy animals. He flipped through the pages of books about flags, farms, and holidays. He found plenty of books with twisty big words, sentences as long as my legs, and pictures that tangled the pages. I thought, whew, it gives me the heebie-jeebies. 
When I saw my friends in the middle of the library having fun and reading, I felt more lost than ever. The next place I tried was Miss Rackley's bookshop. Maybe she could help me find my very favorite book. Miss Rackley did what she does best. She brought piles and piles of books. I looked and I looked and I looked, but I couldn't call any of them my very favorite book in the whole wide world. All those pages and all those words made my eyes tired. I realized it was going to take a book miracle to find my very favorite book. I grew a sad face and stomped all the way home. Mama was unloading the dryer and she could tell that I was having a crummy day. I told her all about the worst ever homework assignment. The librarian and Ms. Rackley tried their best to help me find a book, but it was no use. I'll never find my very favorite book in the whole wide world. With a voice as warm as rolls from an oven, Mama said, Henley, Sometimes the best stories can be found inside of ourselves. After a sweet kiss on the forehead, Mama's words lit up inside of me. That's when I had a brilliant idea. The next morning, I could hardly wait for my turn to share my favorite book in the whole wide world. I stood proud as all eyes in the reading circle stared at me. Everyone thinks that I hate to read, but that's not true. Yes, some words are too big and some sentences are too long, but that's not my biggest challenge. Before today, I just hadn't found a book that I wanted to read. I hadn't found the words or pictures or pages or sentences or subjects that showed me, me. So last night, I wrote a book. It's called My Very Favorite Book in the Whole Wide World. It's about a big, fat, bumpy journey to finding the perfect book. My book has words and pictures and pages that show me, me, and that show you, me. When I started reading my book out loud for everyone to hear, I struggled. But soon, my words began to flow. The pictures I drew danced off the pages. Everyone can have a very favorite book in the whole wide world even if they have to write it. When I was done telling my story, all my classmates clapped and cheered. My teacher gave me a gold star on my homework, and that's the truth. The end. Thank you for listening to this fun read aloud book and we encourage you to stop by the library and pick out a fun book for you and your family to read aloud together on World Read Aloud Day.